Good afternoon. Our first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. And our time for reflection leader today is Pastor Andrew Smith, Assemblies of God, Champion Life Church in the East End of Glasgow. Andrew. Thank you, Presiding Officer, for your kind welcome and for the privilege of being here this afternoon to address Parliament in this time for reflection. I want to bring greetings and prayers from Assemblies of God, the Pentecostal denomination that I have the honour of leading and the church that I currently pastor, Champion Life Church, in the east end of Glasgow. A couple of weeks ago, I, I sat down at the end of a, a busy day, like many of us do, and switched the TV on. Sky Sports News came on the screen, and because it was transfer deadline day, lots of uh, frantic activity was taking place as football clubs were trying to secure last-minute deals. This year, a staggering £1.165 billion was spent in the transfer window, with an incredible £155 million on transfer day alone. Football is big business these days. For many, it's life and death. Some say even more than that. The church that I currently am a pastor of is situated one-third of a mile from the home of SPL champions Glasgow Celtic. Football has come a long way from the 60s when a team of young Scottish guys all born within a 30-mile radius uh, of Parkhead became the first British team to win the European Cup. Football, sadly, now is big business, and money has, to a large extent, spoiled the natural beauty of the game. Advertising and TV sponsorship is central to income now, with companies desperate at all times to showcase their products. Over the years, I've seen many adverts at sporting uh, spectacles, but the one that has lived with me most was watching on TV a World Cup a number of years ago when a young man was seen clearly on the TV screens with a white t-shirt with the words John 3.16 marked clearly on it. An obvious reference to the Bible verse in St. John's Gospel where Jesus said, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. As a Christian minister, this cuts right to the heart of the gospel message I believe in, I preach weekly, and I trust live out daily, but want to share quickly with Parliament today. The story is told at the end of World War II of an American soldier who was making his way back to his army barracks in London. As he turned the corner in his Jeep, he saw a young boy with his nose pressed up against the window of a baker shop, drooling at the selection of cakes and pastries on display. The soldier pulled the Jeep over, got out, and went over to where the young boy was. Son, would you like some of these? The boy was startled. Sure, mister, he responded. And the American walked in, bought a bag of donuts, and handed it to him. And as he walked away, he felt a tug on his jacket sleeve. And the little boy said, Mr., are you God? I want to say this afternoon that we are never more like God than when we give. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. 33 years ago, that love of God radically changed my life changed my priorities and value systems, and the love of God propels me to do what I am doing today as a Christian minister of the gospel. My prayer for Parliament and every MSP this afternoon is that as you go about your business in Parliament, that you'd experience more and more of the love of God personally in your lives. God bless you.